Hi guys, welcome back to another video. What we have today is a little Volvo V40. I have actually recorded and done a video on an EGR valve and cooler being replaced on this recently, but I today am fitting a, a wheel speed sensor for the ABS. We have an ABS light on on this thing and nothing too fancy, but we can see here we have our ABS light on and a tire pressure monitoring light on. ABS light on and yeah, we have that message there. Miles on this, I'm not even going to look at right now. I'm going to assume, not assume, but I see it was serviced here at 106,000, is it in kilometers or miles? So we better 100,000 100, miles or kilometers on this thing. Don't really know. What am I actually doing here? I'm not, I wasn't recording this because this is not that maybe interesting. What I'm going to point out anyway is our ABS issue is due to an ABS sensor, I believe, after failing. Well, I have no signal whatsoever coming from it. When I was doing code scan for my EGR cooler, I did notice that on my Autel. But this morning when I come in, my Autel is flat and I was going to change that thing. But I have promised a girl that I got this thing from. And as I said there, I think on a previous video, I'm after getting this as a, a kind of a would I call it a gift or whatever you want to call it simply due to do a review on it so it's a King Bowling K King Bowling K7 okay now I have been using this a little bit nice little little tool size wise it's not a whole lot bigger than my hand but it feels like kind of a nice robust size of a yoke and the build quality of it looks good couple of finger marks on it because I've used it little Bluetooth dongle here that if hopefully I can get my scan tool in relatively fast and easy in, into this thing without looking. I can't actually see where it is. I'm just going to plug it in if I can get in it. Okay. So we're, plug, we're plugged in at this point in time and then we're going to click on this yoke. Um, we'll say restart. So what I'm going to do today is I'm hoping that I'm going to do a little fast review on this thing and see can it diagnose and or fix our problem so what i'm going to try and do if i can there's a little booklet for it king will in k7 king will in k7 as i said you've seen it on a little mondeo is doing a diagnosis on recently and at this point in time we're going to see will it get in will it find the car will it give us i suppose somewhat of direction on where we're going to go okay so I'm going to click here on scan. We're going to click on auto search. I think I said this before, but it's very similar to kind of the launch or the top down software. I'm not very, very familiar with the launch or the top down software. I am more familiar with the Autel at this point in time and or maybe even the snap on. But here we are and we're going to just do a little find of this thing, right? So it's that they're finding a chassis number it's that they're finding that it's a Volvo which is a positive I'm seeing this kind of doing this finding the vehicle fairly fast fairly easy there's our details on the car the light is on on my phone so apologies but it um it's giving me the vehicle details I'm going to say okay we'll do a health report now I did have an EGR valve disconnected on this thing on the last one, it took about a minute and a half. I see a little timer here, which is a nice kind of a feature for it to have. The last health scan I was doing, I think, took about a minute and a half on a Ford Mondeo, 2016 Ford Mondeo. This one, it's a 16 Volvo V40, as we saw there. And within look, 22 or 3 or 4 seconds, it's after finding the car and giving us the, the details. Now, we're going to have a little look. Three faults in ABS. Okay. Uh, read fault codes. I don't know what that means. If suffix present, I haven't a clue what that means. Anyway, what we see here is right rear wheel speed sensor general failure C003A07. Battery voltage general electronic failure U300316. And then on the bottom we have right rear right rear wheel speed system internal failure incorrect component installed that's that c003a4a 
Okay, so we can see our, our fault codes, which is good. We're going to look for live data, read data stream. I could actually, maybe there's a search feature over here. We'll just see if I did, I'm going to go and find my speeds and then we'll have a look and just try and use the search feature. I'm going to see what way they're, they're Velocity, they're actually calling it here. An alarm it off my phone. We're going to go for velocity because sometimes the phrasing on certain scan tools. Okay. So we have velocity, anyway, has given us one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I know the light is on, which is a bad job for me recording a video. Velocity reference, and then we have the four wheel speeds. I'm going to do that, 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 and that. We'll say OK. So now what we're doing is we're looking at wheel speeds here. Um, I'm going to shout at the chap. Kuba! Will you do me a favour? Will you spin each wheel individually? Just give it a, a fast spin and move on to the next wheel. So we're just seeing there the right front. He's actually spinning at this point in time. OK. And he's... We're seeing wheel speed from that. We might see, can we do... No, we can't, actually. I'm, I, I don't think I can, or at least I... You can see the actual front left wheel is spinning or rotating here. Back onto the back ones then, Kuba, please. So I have the handbrake down at this point in time. He's spinning the left rear. And then onto the right rear, Kuba, please. The right rear is where we have a problem. can feel the car moving. Man is spinning the wheel and we have no velocity happening here. Now, if I was down off the lift, I would probably drive the car forward or backwards just to look that I'd see all three potentially rotating and the other one not. When we see the internal fault, our internal failure, so we're aware we have no, no speed reading from this. We're going to go back and we'll interrogate our fault codes a little bit more. So, right rear, rear wheel speed sensor, uh, general failure. And we're going down here, right rear wheel speed sensor system, internal failures, incorrect component installed. What we're going to do, that's kind of enough. You can see what the scan tool here at this point in time has in capability wise to give us information where it can get into every module. It's more than just an OBD code reader. It's actually, it'll go into every module that's in it. So what we're gonna do is do a fast switcheroo on this ABS sensor. I'll show you what we're doing here to give it a, a swap out. And just to run from there back up to here, something that I might forget. There is no tire pressure sensor in these wheels. And because of that, what the actual car is doing is it's monitoring wheel rotation speed and if one of them if one of the wheels is actually rotating at a slower speed it'll know if the wheel is softer than the others if that makes sense so that's why we have the tire pressure monitors this man we're going to get out do a visual on it have a speed sensor here um no testing being done on it really only talking about this thing we'll get in we'll fit the sensor we'll see where we're at and we'll see if this then can get rid of our fault codes etc okay the little k7 good little piece of kit what i do like is that it's very touchable with the plastic gloves or rubber gloves on me you know sometimes i have a problem where the screens don't pick up my finger and stuff but like straight there and fast it's doing anything i want relatively fast i like that you know just to to um read data stream it's it's really easy to see you know and show and allocate stuff does exactly what it says on the tin really really handy as a backup tool for anyone that would want it because it's not that dear i know i did look on um ebay and amazon etc and these things are costing i think it was around eight or nine hundred euros but what i would say is for that eight or nine hundred euros it's very very good value very robust to the point that i would nearly suggest and our hope that maybe even i see ivan from pine hollow using the tink tool and they're starting to get popular now this seems to be nearly the same build as the tink tool so is it is it you know the old launch software or whatever that the tink tool is using and you know is is it would a 
for us in the garage with a, a more expensive King Bolin scan tool, you know, it's kind of convincing me that King Bolin are going to try and break the market and start getting very, very what competitive in the actual aftermarket uh, car scanner, you know, market, dare I say. Maybe that's phrased wrongly, but this is what I'm thinking. And maybe even would be worth spending. You know, I was thinking about changing scan tools or getting more, you know, or updating. I'm, I was thinking about a tink tool, but I'm now thinking that maybe I'm going to stay playing with this for a couple of months. But maybe this yoke or a bigger, more robust version of it could be the way to go. I have to say it's Bluetooth. So you can see that battery holds its life for what I would class as very, very long we have Milwaukee tools that I'd have sitting down there. The Milwaukee tools, I nearly would say that I, I nearly don't know when I change the batteries in them. They're that far apart. And this seems to be the same. Battery life seems to be fantastic in it. But for now, anyway, we're going to get, out, we're going to get this ch sensor changed and show what's... what's um, okay, we're just at a jumping down underneath. Right-hand rear wheel speed sensor sits there. There is a little bolt holding it in at that point. All we're going to do is get the wiring harness off and get that bolt out. Swap this sensor. Show us that for a second. Come on. Swap that little piece out and just see what we can see. Okay, outside. guys, I'm just explaining why I'm only just throwing in a sensor. I'm throwing in a sensor, as I explained to this uh, little man in work experience beside me, that the sensor was not very expensive. And because the sensor is not very expensive and very easy to change, I'm not even going to use or utilize an hour or so on my wiring integrity checks i'm only going to put in the sensor because of speed ease if there's a complete wheel bearing that was going to take two hours to change and cost 200 euros i wouldn't be putting in this but because it's relatively cheap and relatively fast and easy to change i'm just throwing it in um just to to put that to bed i believe we're going to be on the right track okay guys abs sensor fitted mr man is going to be spinning a wheel again for us will you spin it there for me Kuba. we're looking we now have a speed signal back okay back into our king bolin um capabilities we're going to go here with clear faults we're going clear faults okay 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 we're going to go back again sure on the end of function yes and now what we want to do is we want to i'm going to get rid of the other faults in there as well actually do you know I did what well, I didn't look I didn't look to see the read fault goes, well, this is me I'd say with my EGR um, crack mass airflow I had that taken off I had an intake runner uh, taken off etc on this car to fit my EGR cooler out here so we're going to go back clear fault code I probably should have looked to see will this clear all my faults in all of the modules okay yes Would it clear? Hey, hey, hey. maybe I. Oop. I'm going to actually stall. Stall the car, okay? So now we have the capabilities here of clearing them all. We're going to do it. Let's go in here and have a look. Okay. Read for the codes. And the cars are kind of funny now. The minute I stalled it out, look, the car went dead. And low speed collision software capability. I don't actually know. I'm assuming all that is happening to do with um, our EGR valve and our ABS related problems because it's kind of a, a collision y type thing. Software, I'm thinking that's just a, a drive we need on this thing. A lot of times I find that, that if I get out in the road, leave the dust settled, let the car see that everything is kind of right that it'll kind of figure its own stuff out. I'm going out for a spin in this with um, my EGR cooler, my ABS sensor has been fitted on it. But you can see the capabilities of this little scan tool. It, nearly operates. it operates like a big, um, you know, industrial or trade level scan tool. It is a good little yoke. That's it, guys. I've been out on the road for a spin. We have no ABS lights on, everything doing its job. But I suppose, look, just to... to um, yeah, close up this little review on, on this King Bolin. I think it's 
good value for money. So anyone who's looking for one of these things or in the market for for some little scan tool that has the capabilities that are bigger and better than an OBD scan tool, this is, a, I have to say, a very good option. I'm only doing this because I got it, got it for free and I got asked. So mm -hmm. thanks very much to King Boleyn for giving it to me, I suppose, number one. Number two is, yeah, look, I'd, I'd advise anyone if you do want something that just has a little bit more and is not going to cost the earth, this is a good yoke. So the King Boleyn K7 uh, scan tool. I mean, a little bit of a review. Guys, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you on the next cartoon. Peter Kennedy, signing out. See you later, guys.